Hey everyone, it's Tom from Functional Body, back with video two of ski prep moves. Uh, it's getting very close to my trip to Canada, coming up in less than two weeks now. And I just thought I'd share another thing that you can use. I uh, personally do it just to get your body prepped and your proprioception of balance prepped for the sport of skiing. So in this one, it's gonna be more of a lateral based uh, exercise with the, the pelvis. So first of all, just get some awareness of uh, where your pelvis is. So put both hands on the two parts of uh, your ilium, just here. And just, first of all, get it moving uh, laterally across. So the first range of motion in your hips in this lateral movement should very much be with your pelvis staying uh, flat relative to the ground, okay? It's only right at the very end where you'll feel it kind of has more of a rocking up motion. So try and work on not having that up motion come in too early. So if you're dropping in like this, not sort of the, the ambulance exercise, getting it to move flat. Now, my friend JF talks about this idea of a, a gravity drop, which is sort of, I guess, uh, one interpretation is taken of not engaging muscles to make this movement happen, but to let his joints do the movement and his muscles react. So as you move across, there should be a feeling of the pelvis actually dropping down and across a little bit with gravity, okay? Because being on the two levers of your legs, there should be no real up movement in this. So as you go across, let your pelvis move and drop side to side, okay? Next progression, add in a box to start moving across and really challenging how far you can get your hips across past this foot. And then your ability to stand up and balance on what would be the new outside ski. Because a key I feel to a good turn is going from being balanced on your outside leg all the way inside the turn to then start to shift early onto this new outside ski coming up and being really composed and balance and then ready to move into the next turn. So on both sides, not too far apart because the goal is to get the hips and pelvis moving across as level as possible. Up the body relaxed, eyes looking ahead. Once you've got it as far over as you can, you should feel all this line engage. Stand up, balance on it. You can get real low if you like. Up, we'll get something taller. Get low on this side. Up, bounce. We're going to get Pete, who's come in today, Sammy, to just try that because maybe some uh, health corrections will help you guys. So jump on the box, Pete. So he's going to slide his hips across to the left. I'm going to tell him. Keep even weight if you can on this foot, the three points. Okay, now go push up, balance on that left leg. Perfect, come back down. Okay, so go back, start again, Pete. Pete's first move was a downward movement. So let your pelvis slide across first rather than going down, because that'll be better. Moving it right across, challenge how far you can get out here without losing the three points of contact on this foot. Perfect, so notice how his knees come in a bit to help support that, that's good. Now stand up. Nice, did that feel like there was more balance and control? Perfect, so try it once more. See, he's not gonna drop his hips. He's gonna, perfect, just let gravity help him slide them over and he's gonna challenge how far. See this, this hip coming out past the knee, really good sign that you're going to now use your glutes, the quads to stand up. Then he's going to try the other side. That's it. Cross. Awesome. So here we see the knee's gone further than the hip. Perfect. <laughs> you feel the difference in your glutes when you do that? Yeah. And then stand up. Form balance. A few seconds, exactly. Again, so let the pelvis 
slide, perfect. Center of mass lives around here, L4, L5, S1 kind of area, so you've got to move that in order to get great effect in you know, pressure and balance, perfect. So you feel these muscles working way hard that time, all the mass stabilizing the knee. So the last one I'm going to get Pete to put his foot back like a few centimeters, yep. Because that would be more like where you'd be in a ski turn. So the hips are now going to have to travel more forward towards this foot, perfect. And whenever you feel you've got to your maximum extent, you just stand up. Perfect, back down. Awesome. Thanks, Pete. <laughs> so there's one uh, exercise you can use at home or in the gym using a step to bring not only awareness but balance, strength, and control of how you how you move your uh, your pelvis laterally in skiing. Um, so watch the video again. Take away some of the key points and. Uh, give it a go. I'll see if I can get one more video out um, next week before I go. Uh, if you enjoy this, please share uh, around on Facebook and um, social media. Again, my website, functionalbody.com.au, and same with my Facebook page, Functional Body. Thanks for following. See you guys.